While it isn't the time to be vain, it's still important to look and feel your best. COVID-19 has shut down a lot of hair and beauty salons, which means roots are growing out, eyelash extensions are falling off, and facial hair is growing in. So what can you do? Here are some home hacks. What can people do? Because you can't really go get your hair cut or dyed. So what can you do? What I would recommend is just taking a scissor at home and just literally taking off a small amount of hair at the bottom just to allow the natural growth of your hair. And what about roots? Because I think that's probably a pretty big concern for a lot of women. If you have mascara at home, you'll need a waterproof mascara. And what you want to do is just take that tip and then just apply it on the root and make sure it's waterproof so it doesn't come off. The other thing that ladies can do at home is if they have a brush, and it could be um, a makeup brush or a paintbrush or even a toothbrush, take that brush, take some black eyeshadow or any eyeshadow of your hair color, and then just grab some pigment and then apply it on the root. It's a big trend right now. Everybody's getting eyelash extensions, but now, you know, a lot of those are falling off. So what can someone do? Taking some castor oil or olive oil. And you'll need about uh, two of these lipstick wands, which you can find them at the dollar store. If you don't have these, you can also use Q-tips as well. Dip them in the castor oil, take one wand, place it underneath the lash, take the other one, place it on top of the lash, and then press it gently, and then wiggle the lashes out. Now, you'll need some patience when doing this because it will take time. Because I think a lot of women are used to going to get their brows done, you know, threading their upper lip. What can you do? So what you'll need is a thread and then you need it about an arm's uh, length mm -hmm. and then you're going to cut it in half and then put the two threads together like that, put the ends together, tie a knot at the end. Once you have that done, you wanna open it up, give it about a few twists, like seven or eight times. And then once you do that, you wanna start practicing the scissoring technique like that. Once you've mastered this technique, you can go ahead and place it above your upper lip. Make sure you are, make sure the skin is taut. You can put your tongue underneath as well like this. Place this on top and then you can go ahead and start threading. Just be very careful. I would recommend that you practice it on a peach. And nail salons are closed right now as well. So for anyone who still has shellac on their nails, Sahar says take a bottle of 100% acetone, put it on a cotton ball, and then you put that on the nail, wrap it up with a square of foil. Leave that on for about 10 to 15 minutes. Take it off and take a nail file, rub it off, and then cut your nails. And she says, keep them short and clean. Malia Sheikh, City News.